Hey guys, Stefan here, the Photo Book Guru, and today I'm going to review Sal Digital Flush Mount books. Last week I reviewed the Lay Flat books from Sal Digital, and these are the big brothers of the Lay Flat books. They are flush mount books, they are really strong, they are sturdy, really thick pages. Um, so I wanted to show you in a different video what these books look like and how they compare to the uh, Lay Flat books. The most important difference between the two books is that the flush mount books have really really thick pages, they're 1.08 millimeter thickness pages, they use 600 uh, grams per square meter paper and they have a much uh, smaller final maximum page count than the layflat books. If you want to see my review about the layflat books follow the link in the description below and if you want to see more about this uh, lovely lovely flush mount book then come with me and continue with the review. Alright, so the cover options for the XD books are the same as for the standard photo books. So you've got a plethora of options, you've got image rep, matte, glossy, you've got leather in a variety of colours, you've got wood look, you've got metallic, you've got um, linen, and all of these can be padded or unpadded. This one is a glossy hardcover image wrap, so that's how it looks. It's a nice glossy finish and um, the picture just goes all around the book. You can have uh, obviously different layouts for the front page. Uh, you have no um, company logo on the book. The only thing you've got is this uh, tiny little barcode which you can get rid of if you pay a little surcharge. Uh, I purposely didn't put any text on the spine but you can obviously add text but I like my flash mount books uh, to be without any text on the side. I think it just looks nicer and I didn't put any text on the front either. When you open the book, these ones are attached to the main pages through a black uh, sheet and the same is on the black and you can't choose the colour of the sheet. Now in the in a standard uh, photo books it was a white sheet and in, in the flush mount is, is a black sheet. I don't know why but um, it doesn't really matter. It has, it has a matte texture so basically um, the sheet that connects the main book to the cover uh, is going to have the texture of the paper that you choose for the book, not for the cover, if that makes any sense. Now let's have a look at the binding. Now as you know, all flush round books have uh, a lay flat binding and these pages are usually quite sturdy because the point of them is to nicely showcase your images without the pages bending and to give like a, a really luxurious look. So um, that's how the binding looks up close. Okay, the quality of it is amazing, it's beautiful, it pages through wonderfully and it feels really sturdy and you can be sure that this is going to last. There's no other option for the binding because obviously it's a flash mount book and this is how they're supposed to look, nice and lay flat. So let's have a look at the paper. Uh, the paper options you've got are the same as for the standard books, you've got the glossy and the matte. For this one I chose the matte paper because I think it looks nicer in the flash mount books. That's the kind of texture that you get in the matte paper. It's a lovely lustrous texture, it's not really completely matte, it's more like lustrous um, quality to it. It has a subtle sheen, not too much, not too little, just the right amount. Um, it has a really nice um, finish and again that's the kind of sheen that you get. Just to show you again the texture on a different photo. Okay, the other option is the glossy paper. Now uh, I haven't got um, a flush mount book in the glossy but I've got the the glossy paper that they've got for the standard book so I can show you how the glossy paper looks although well, it's not the same thickness so that's the the glossy paper that you get in the flush mount books as well it's the same kind of finish the tones are obviously a lot deeper and you you get a lovely uh, contrast and dynamic range in the glossy paper but again some people really prefer the matte and the matte is just as beautiful but uh, it's not going to have the same intense, vibrant colours as the glossy paper. But both are great options. And now just a few words about the printing. 
Uh, as you might have heard in my previous review, the company uses silver halide printing and everything is exposed onto photographic paper. Now the real importance in this is that this is the only printing that's going to give you the biggest widest dynamic range and the best contrast and the, the most vibrant colors. The thing you need to know about silver halide printing as opposed to digital printing is that the tones melt into each other. It's like a continuous gradient and it's not made up of little dots like the digital printing so you don't get any digital artifacts. If you have a look at the quality you wouldn't see any uh, dots in these prints and the colors look extremely accurate and really really uh, vibrant and you get again the shadows and the highlights are really well exposed you get a very wide dynamic range so this is why I'm urging you to if you can choose a photo book company like Saal which um, can print the images using a photographic method. It's gonna give you so much better quality that it's really worth the extra premium price. If you want to find out more about the software, just go to my previous Slay Flat video review and there I give a quick uh, walkthrough in the software and show you the options you've got and all the things that you can do. The link is in the description below the video, so please follow if you wanna find out more about the software. Okay, so just like with the Lay Flood books, I'm extremely happy with Cell Digital. The quality is so good that I can't complain about anything. Binding is perfect, the cover is perfect, you have so many options, 16 different covers. Uh, the paper is wonderful, the matte and the gloss, and the printing is silver halide, which gave such good uh, dynamic contrast and um, range to the photos that I haven't seen this with many other photo books before. So, um, Delivery was really quick, it came with the other books, it was a few days from Germany to the UK. They do not deliver at the moment to the United States, but I think they're going to do it in the near future, so check back. I've got a voucher code for you, PhotobookGuru17, and if you use this voucher code in the checkout process, you can get £20 off your order, and it's going to be valid until the 30th of October 2017. So please use it and uh, see how you like your books. Pros and cons of these books. Uh, pros, just the ones I uh, mentioned before, basically the high quality, the easy to create process and um, just everything about it really. The only negatives I can say is just the same as with the lay flats. The uh, themes were not so eye-catching as with previous companies that I've tried and the page count is obviously really small but there's not necessarily a con, it's more like um, an attribute to uh, flash mount books. I really urge you to uh, try out these books. They are one of my favorites now and I'm really really happy that I tried them. Um, go to my blog The Photo Book Guru if you would like to see more up close images or read more about the books. Uh, I also have the latest vouchers and deals uh, on my blog for all the companies that I reviewed so far and for Style Digital. Follow me on Facebook. Uh, thank you for watching and as always subscribe for more.